Hi crocheters of the world, in this tutorial we will work together on this lovely soft and uh, light, uh, I called it spring berry, it's so soft, so nice and the stitch that I used is the daisy or star stitch. It's really really beautiful. The yarn that I use, it's my favorite for all the projects so it's it's merino gold you have the there it comes in so many beautiful colors you have the link below it's 60% uh, merino and 40% acrylic and it is to be worked uh, it's written on the label three millimeters but actually you'll see in the tutorial I worked with 3.5 and with 4 actually the stitch the star stitch I work it with four just to obtain this mm, softness and lightness in the texture so uh, that's it you will need uh, about about 70 80 grams of yarn and there will be a uh, beautiful circular uh, ring scarf too so to work this beret uh, with the star stitch or daisy stitch, we will need a crochet hook of 4 millimeters and one of 3.5 for the border. And I am working with the merino gold. Uh, you can find it into my um, my shop, online shop, Ice Yarns. And don't forget that if you buy from me, you support me. And. Uh, it's 60% merino, 40% acrylic and I highly recommend you this yarn for lots of projects, blankets, uh, um, pullovers, cardigans and so many um, beret hats and so many beautiful projects you can make. So there are lots of colors and uh, this uh, and it's a self um, that kind of self uh, changing uh, color to um, you will you will find it in to the link below so it's just just lovely it is to be worked with three millimeters uh, needles so with 3.5 millimeters hook it would be just perfect now uh, let us see how to work the border for our berry we will chain six one, two, three, four, five, six, seven actually. And we insert hook into the second chain from the hook, but into the uh, loop, back loop, okay? This one. And we were the first single crochet. Now we continue on into the next. Work only the back loop of the chain. This one. To the next. And this. And to the next, here it is, and to the next, and into the last, okay. And we chain one, from now on we will work back loop only. This is the back loop, I turn and I work my single crochet and I continue on with the next, with the next and with the next. So six single crochets. We will work this for a multiple of six number of rows and for the circumference that we need for our head. We turn and we work back loop only. Continue on like this. We turn, chain one, insert hook into the back loop and go. And I see you later when I finish the border, the circumference that I need. And I will show you how to count the rows to know how many you have. Okay, so this is what I have so far. So I have my border almost ready. This is what I have. And actually it's ready. Now I want to show you how to count. It's really really easy to count. Uh, you will put it like this with this uh, beginning um, yarn on the bottom part and there are these bumped up lines that we 
we on one side and on the other side it's one and one row one row one row so these are two rows on one side and on the other side of this line so we will count two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, and so on. So, and at the end, I have so this is my last. You have one and one on one side and on the other side. This is the last pair, okay? I have 84. 84 is a multiple of 6. So, your number of stitch of uh, rows must be, of course, the right uh, circumference for your head, but also a multiple of 6. I have 84, okay, and it's just perfect. Now, let me show you, it's exactly like this, that I will, I want to join, and when we join, we insert hook into back loop only here, uh, sorry, front loop only here. I will try to get my front loop and back loop here, okay, like this. And this is one. And I will slip stitch to join. And then two, here I will back. And sorry, front and front and slip stitch. Okay, so I go on with one more just to show you one and this one. Okay, and slip stitch. And this is what we will have. So it, it looks more or less the same as what we already have here. Okay, now from now on we will work all around I will show you the very first round so now I have it uh, what I want to say is that the first row all around round all around will be single crochet round and we will increase in each of our third stitch and we will work like this so we have this line here and one on one side, one on the other side of each line, and the third will be an increase. So I will insert hook here, and this is my first, and then this is the line, and I will pass the line with my second. Always insert hook through two loops, okay? And this is my second. Then before the next, this is my third, and here I will increase, and then I will pass the next and one and two and the third is here so will be again a increase okay and again I have the line here in the middle one on one side and the second on the other side this one don't don't take it like this because we will have ugly holes just take with this one. Can you see it? It's here. Okay, like this. Okay, and this is one, two, and the third will be again a increase. And again one, so I want to take it with two threads of yarn. I know sometimes it's a little bit, here it is, difficult. It's one, two, and on the other side we have the third like this and I doubled it so I increased again one two here it is try to one two and the third will be increase one and two okay so this is how I will continue on all around so I finished with my uh, single crochet round and now I have 108. So from 84 rows, rounds, rows, sorry for the border, I have 108. I worked in each of my third uh, stitch, I worked two together. 
Okay, now let us begin with the daisy stitch or the or the star stitch. So we will chain one and two. This is first loop on the hook. From the second we insert hook on the back of the chain we pull up this loop. And then into the same chain but we will insert hook into the the other front loop. Can you see it? It's this one, like this. And pull up a loop. Now we have three loops on the hook. Uh, I switched to four millimeters hook, okay. And now here where we slip stitched into the very first single crochet, here where we slip stitch, insert hook and pull up our fourth loop. And now go into the next two stitches and pull up one and two. And now we, ha we have our six loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all and chain to secure. Now from now on we will work like this. We have one loop on the hook, we insert hook into the chain, secure chain, and we pull up the second. We need six loops. The third, we insert hook into this loop here and we pull up the third. Then into the into the single crochet where we work the last loop of the previous, we pull up the fourth and then into the next two unworked single crochet we pull up the fifth and the sixth. This is what we have, yarn over, pull through all and chain to secure. Go on with the next one into the chain. We go on with the second, here we take this, go on with the third into the chain that we work the last with the fourth and then into the next two unworked stitches the fifth and the sixth yarn over pull through all and chain to secure this is how we will continue on try to make them nice and large okay so this is the perfect one this was a little bit too too small okay so try to work, work them fluffy okay now I will continue on all around and I will be back to show you how to uh, join and how to begin another round. So I am back because I almost finished my very first round of daisy stitch. I want to show you how to work the last and you know that you have to work the last when you, uh, two stitch, when you have two stitches left, two single crochets left. So now how to work the last star stitch or daisy stitch. So this is the first loop insert hook into the secure chain and pull up a loop. You can insert hook into this one too, not you don't have to. Oh, as you as you wish, okay? Third, now the fourth is where you worked the last, then fifth into the second to last single crochet and sixth into the last single crochet. Now we have our last daisy stitch on the hook. We want to insert hook into these two loops. So not into the secure chain of the first daisy stitch but into these two loops. And we pull through all and we chain to secure. And this is how we will finish all the rounds that we will work from now on. Now I want to chain one more and to begin another round. To begin another round I will insert hook into the secure chain of the last and pull up the second loop. Then insert hook into the chain like this, only one loop and pull up the third loop. Now we have three loops on the hook. Then here into the stitch where we slip stitched actually to join, this is my fourth into the secure chain of the first daisy stitch of the previous round, this is the fifth. And into the stitch, the stitch of the next daisy stitch, and this is the sixth. Yarn over, pull through all and chain to secure. And we continue on one, this is the second, the third, maybe it's easier like this, the fourth, where we already worked the last loop of the previous daisy stitch, four, then five and six. Five into the secure chain and six into this stitch. Yarn over, pull through all, secure and continue on. Show you one more time. One, two, three, four, 
5 into the secure chain and 6 into the stitch and over ok and these are my star stitches I am trying to make them as similar as I can it's not very easy but I am trying you can try to you have to try to so 3 4 5 and six and pull through all and chain to secure and again one then two three into the stitch where you already worked the last of the previous daisy stitch and then into the secure chain and then into the stitch we have six yarn over pull through all chain one to secure so we have the secure chain of the previous round of the daisy stitches of the previous round and in between we have this stitch so the secure chain is this one little one the, the tiny one and the stitch okay now let me show you one more time three four where we work the last five and six so into the chain secure chain and into the next stitch okay and this is how we will continue on with our row I will continue on to the end and I will show you one more time how to finish the row. so let me show you how to this is what I have isn't it just so so nice uh, wrong side it's lovely too okay so what I want to say is that I am at the end I have to work one more and how do I know I'm again here to show you uh, I know because I have two more uh, stitches left and these two stitches is the secure chain and the stitch here okay one and two and actually I will work exactly as I did into the first round I will work my last one and two three four five and six now insert hook into this not in the secure chain but into the stitch and pull up a loop and pull through all and chain and now we finished as you can see it's it's nothing you can see <laughs> that you can see okay so it's just perfectly okay and it's like this that we will continue on as I said before we will continue on some more rounds I will be back to show you how many rounds and in centimeters how uh, I uh, um, have to go on how you have to go on and then we will begin with a decrease so actually it's kind of not very difficult <laughs> okay from here you know that you will chain one insert hook into this and pull up a loop and then into the chain here just one loop and this is the third then the fourth it's here the fifth it's into the chain and the sixth it's into this one and how do we know that we work correctly because we always the fifth and the sixth the fifth this is a, a trick the fifth and the sixth loops will be all, always worked into the the fifth into the chain secure chain of the daisy stitch of the previous round and the sixth into the stitch of the next daisy stitch so yeah okay so this is how we know that we are working correctly so I finished in length what I need I have a uh, five rounds look at this isn't it just lovely this stitch it's it's lovely five rows five rounds and now i want to begin with more or less will be five so the same number uh rounds for uh, decreasing mm. actually yes more or less now what we need to do uh, it's uh, 53 
the number of daisy stitches that I have all around and uh, it's 53 and I need six decreases to put in each round from now on to the end so 53 it's not um, I cannot divide it perfectly uh, with six or by six sorry so I take 54 and it's nine so which means I will work one decrease plus eight normal daisy stitches one increase plus eight and at the end I think I will have nine more st uh, stitches to um, a decrease I will begin with a decrease over these two first two um, star stitches or daisy stitches now it's very important here for you to understand the stitch <laughs> actually it's this is one stitch okay one and two one and two one and two that's one and two these two stitches okay these two stitches is the other one actually there are two stitches only okay so I will chain one more and again the same thing insert hook here on the back and then into the chain one loop one loop and this is my third and now what I want to do is to decrease so I will work normally the first star stitch one two three four five and six and I will work over these two seven eight and this is the decrease yarn over pull through all now I have a star stitch a little bit larger and I worked over these two star stitches. Can you see them? It's one and these are two. Okay, and now I will continue on with eight normal star stitches. Three, four, five, and six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Two, three, four, five, and six, and so on. We just continue on with our star stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five and six so I have one two three four five I go on with three more two three four five and six this is six actually the sixth one two three four five and six Okay, I have this is the decrease one two three four five six seven. Yes, I need one more to complete and then I can show you The other decrease one two three four five and six this and one two three four five and six and I will decrease so in these two again one into the secure and into the single crochet more or less single crochet okay so I have eight yarn over pull through all and that's all I will continue on with eight more three four five six this is the first so I know I have eight star stitches in between four five six this is my second okay so uh, this is what I have to keep in mind that I have eight in between my uh, decrease this is my first at the beginning at the round I have my first and I'll go with the third now three two three four 
subscribe. Oops, this is something that was not not good. Okay, so it's just easy to see where you where you are wrong. Three, four, five, and six. Cause it's only into the secure and then into the stitch. So this is how you have to control that. This is my fourth. That you just work properly. Okay. You can also, actually I will, the last decrease that I work, this is the first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is my last decrease that I just worked so I will put the marker on so I can I don't have to uh, always uh, count from the beginning so I have now I, I can count only from the last decrease okay one oops two three four, five, and six. Okay, and I have, already have four, now I go on for two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, this is my fifth. Two, three, four, Five and six. This is my seventh. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I think this is my eighth. Let me just know. It is. It is not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And now I will put another increase. I will work another increase. So let me show you how. And this is my third, so three, four, five, and six, and I work over the next, so into the secure chain and into the stitch here. I have eight loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all, and now take the marker and put it on your third, uh, third yes, it's third increase. Uh, decrease. <laughs> okay, uh, I put it my third decrease and I will continue on with three more all around. Okay, so I work one more here. So as you can see, we have two and here it's one. Now, uh, I will continue on for about five more rounds uh, to decrease and uh, actually uh, you can randomly decrease, okay? So more or less the same number of stitches in between, but it's more or less, so you can have eight or six or I don't know. Uh, the important thing is to be six. So in one round you have, you must put six decreases and you can put them randomly, okay? There, there's no need to be one over the other. Of course, if you can, if you can put them like this, and it's not difficult because you can see where you have the decrease. So now when I will begin another round, it's here the decrease. Can you see it? It's one and here I have two. Usually I have uh, one over the other, the stitches, okay? But it's not important. You can just go on and put them randomly. So here I have my beret almost ready look at this beauty soft and so so nice and what i want to say to show you it's how to work actually the last let me tell you that i just went on randomly so here i have one as you can see one it's kind of triangle that it creates here i have one then here so i actually went on randomly the important thing is to work six decreases okay so six decreases and oops like this and that's that's 
the most important things uh, thing now uh, let us work the last round together oh it's so nice I'm so happy I I did this uh, I have it in mind for so many times and I don't know <laughs> why I haven't done it yet now I am so very happy about it so I will actually decrease all oops this is not the kind of beginning that I want <laughs> for my last round but you know things happen okay just want to now one one it's here and the other one it's here I have my three four five six I don't stop here six seven eight so I will decrease 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 okay put a marker into the first decrease just to know to mark the beginning of the round now I will decrease again three four five six seven eight we can go with nine and ten okay so no one stops us okay and now let us go on one two three four five six seven eight oops come on you can do it eight okay this is what we have now let's see how many we have to uh, one two three four five six seven eight and nine so I will work one more with three and the rest with two okay so with two together three four five six seven eight so this is another one with two together so only eight continue on one three I have three five six seven and eight mm, just close them together okay so as you can see we are just going on pretty well here hmm? I just want to finish here I have one two three four can just go on two three a little bit more too so I I actually decrease 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 okay this is with two and decrease the last and this and this okay and I will insert hook here this will be in three and now into the last stitch and pull through all and this is what we have 
so I finished actually all now of course I will cut the yarn and with the needle I will just join together all and this is what we have this is my beret isn't it just lovely I'm so so happy about the result believe me you can work it for summer too it's just a beautiful berry just a lovely berry look at it look at it so happy so happy believe me thank you for watching hope you enjoy don't forget about this beautiful yarn for blankets for anything anything you want to work actually it's as you can see it's nice you can work it Actually, with crochet hooks from 3 to 4, 3, 3.5, 4, depends on the project that you are working. The, it comes in so many beautiful colors and changing color to uh, yarn. So just try it, just try it and you'll see it's so, so beautiful. And don't forget that buying for my shop meaning for me means for me so much. You just support me. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share my tutorials if you uh, like on other uh, social media and just Send me photos of your projects that you made following one of my tutorials or be inspired of more of my tutorials. You can send me photos on my uh, Facebook page on a message, uh, private message, or you can just uh, do it on my uh, group. You can join my group on Facebook. Uh, it's Crochet with Wana, or you can just tag me on Instagram. I am always, always happy to see your projects, always happy to see your photos, and I'm always happy to, to leave you a nice comment as you leave me so many beautiful comments, and I thank you, thank you, thank you. See you at the next tutorial. Bye-bye.